How are we doing challengers? So we're on week five of the challenge and at this point I really hope you're absolutely smashing it. You're dropping centimeters, you're losing pounds, you're buzzing off after all of the sessions, you're smashing the workouts and um, it's at this week five there's, there's like a turning point for a lot of you guys. Now you've probably experienced this in previous um, obviously weight loss programs in the past or gyms or personal trainers. You get to a point with your mindset where you're no longer building that momentum you were at the start okay and this is down to your mindset okay and it's also down to two key aspects um we like to see for progress and i'm going to explain that to you guys in this video right now so maybe take out a pen and a paper and write this stuff down because at the end of the six week challenge i want nothing more than for you guys to get the most value number one and number two the best possible most epic results from this six week journey so this video is pretty crucial in the making and i want to talk to you a little bit about where you need to be from this point of the program and how to keep building that momentum and building that you know unshakable confidence so i've come across this a lot with with fitness campers and, and members part of the uh, super mammy academy experience and they tend to compare they go, oh, you know, you reach a point in the program where everything is just, it's coming to its its ultimation and you're looking for ideal progress as opposed to realistic progress. So let me just kind of break this down to you, okay? This is how we expect our journey to go. When, it, when you've jumped on board, you're trying to get in awesome shape, we look at ourselves starting here, yeah? We assume it's going to be da 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 and we assume, you know, life is just not going to get in the way and we're going to be consistently losing pounds, consistently losing centimeters, feeling more awesome. We think we're going to hit all of our meals every single day. The weekend won't be an issue. There won't be social occasions. There won't be family commitments. There won't be any of your peers who are trying to say negative comments towards your new healthy regime. And we just expect progress to be absolutely perfect. And I'm here to tell you in this video, that's not the case at all. Even at this point in your six week challenge, you're still going to experience struggles and obstacles. But what I want you guys to realize is this is the actual expectations of how your progress and your results should go. Because you're not going to absolutely smash it every single week. So you need to understand as humans, we're going to commit lots of errors on a daily basis. And what I found is when people struggle and they hit an obstacle and they no longer see results anymore, perfect results and then... Um, Comparing your results to your, your best results you've ever gotten in, in, in previous times or your friend who's lost more weight somewhere else, that stuff kills our gains and it kills your momentum and actually co creates negative self-sabotaging behaviors with your, with your habits and everything and it just, it just stops you doing everything. So what I found is, oh, you know, I've gotten great results but uh, it's, it's kind of stagnated now at this point and I've no motivation and I've no willpower and... I just don't think I can do it anymore. So do you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go back to the very start and just start all over again, which is absolute insanity. Why would you want to do that? Okay. And it's very common. I come across this quite a lot through my years of coaching ladies who just want to get in shape and they're sick and tired of being let down and feeling guilty and overwhelmed because they realize there is no perfect progress. It's just about going forwards and kind of just acting regardless of how you feel. So this is a more accurate representation of how your progress should go. We are starting here on your journey, as you can see. Smiley face, which is you. And you can see it's not really plain sailing. You're not going to travel from point A to where you are now to your long-term goal, which is up here, okay? Because you're going to come across a lot of crap, a lot of shit. You're going to come across family commitments. You're going to come across occasions. You're going to come across inconsistencies and mishaps and bad days and mediocre days and okay days and near days and angry days so it's gonna go a lot like kind of this until eventually you'll get there but you notice the difference with this line okay and this line here nobody ever gets in shape perfectly or ideal in, in that way ever i've ever come across the best transformations and the best mindset and the women who've gotten the most incredible results on our six week challenges have progressed in this manner here, okay? They've gone up and down and side to side and loop to loop, kind of like the 
elevator, the glass elevator in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, if you read that Roald Dahl book. So I just want you to like be super, super kind of, um, you need to understand that it's okay to fail, but don't use failure as something to kind of hold you back and give up and go back to the start and repeat the whole process yourself your whole life. Because we've got, you've gone through that. You've done that in various different gyms, different slimming programs, and it hasn't worked out for you. That's why I want you guys who are on this six week challenge to absolutely smash it and understand to stop comparing your results to your best weeks or your ideal progress or your perfect progress because that's never going to happen. All I want you to do is realize that from where you are now to where you want to go to is not going to be a linear line of progress with no obstacles. You will come across the same struggles every single week and your results will begin to dwindle and then they'll pick back up again and then you'll start to build momentum again and then it'll taper off for another couple of weeks again. It'll go down, it'll go back up. But as long as you keep going, because this is the key point of this video, as soon as you stop, like stop, stop everything, because this is the conversation I have with people in the past who have failed to get into shape, they just stopped. And they didn't continue because they compared the results to their best weeks and ideal progress and didn't understand the whole mindset part as in, oh, do you know what? It's okay. It's okay to mess up and to, and to, you know, keep going, but don't ever, ever stop. You have to realize to stop. Stopping is so crucial on this plan. So always reach out to me, guys, on this program. If you are struggling with anything at all, this is what this program is for. This is what these videos are for, to educate you on this process. So you have to understand that week five at this point, the results might come down a teeny bit, okay? You have to understand there's going to be a phase of maintenance for a few weeks, okay? You can't just keep losing weight and getting in killer shape every single week. The body has to catch up. The mindset has to improve. You have to realize this is a long-term um, system. So a long-term solution to a short-term problem. If your mindset is lacking and does not understand that, then you will continue to go down the short-term quick fixes, extreme diets, gym memberships you never use, slimming shakes, all that kind of jazz. On this program, you have to understand the basics. Execute the mundane, boring tasks on a daily basis. Consistently, you will get the most insane results ever. You have to understand that, okay? So please, please, please stop comparing your results to your best friends. Stop comparing your results to what you think it should be. And just accept what you're getting each week, okay? Because you're going to get there eventually. As soon as you stop nothing happens, okay? The principle of doing something, so you need to show up regardless of how you feel every single week. That's how you build momentum. That's how you build unshakable confidence. That is how you are gonna get in the best shape of your life if you decide to stick to this. Keep your chin up, girl, and really go for it and smash it. The people who stop, the people who give up, the people who say it's no use and I'll go back to the start and I'll try it again and I'll go back on Monday and I'll do it again and I'll start all over again are constantly in that karmic cul-de-sac, yeah? Where they never really truly see results, but they're they're unhappy about where they are. So for you guys to, to progress forward and build that momentum and just be absolutely unstoppable and unbreakable, you have to understand that your journey on this challenge is continuous. It's ever growing. Like I'm still on my own journey of of you know being a dad and having my own kids and I'm constantly working on my own fitness and my own body shape goals. But for you guys, you have to understand that once something becomes difficult. Don't ever, ever, ever quit on yourself, yeah? You just got to keep building that momentum. You got to keep smashing it. You keep showing up. You just got to keep on going and stop stopping, yeah? That's all I got for you today in this video. Check out video number six on week six. I can't wait to see your incredible results on this program, team, yes?